All right, guys. My first YouTube video. It's here. Yeah. I'm with the man himself. First YouTube video. I'm with the man himself. Just for the first YouTube video, we're just going to give a little life update and we're just going to have a chat. So, who um, better to have a chat with? The man himself. Exactly. We bring him here exactly. for the mid show. The mid show. <laughs> so, we're gonna, I'm going to answer, sorry, I'm going to ask Mitch a few questions. Um, we're just going to catch up. So yeah, we're just going to chat, we're going to catch up. It's going to be up. very unedited, we're just going to talk absolute yeah. mud probably. I mean, obviously we've, we've about spoken it. about the show and stuff like that, but we want you guys to see Another insights on, yeah. on, on Mitch's mindset. We talk a bit more on YouTube. And, and, <laughs> and into the um, season four of Love Island for him. Yeah. So I've got a few questions Inside that I want to ask Inside the mind Mitch, of Mitch. <laughs> and I'll put him in the hot seat a little bit and yeah. ask a few things and I know the questions that you guys want Mitch to answer and um, we'll just all the juicy we'll stuff. I'm about, to, I'm about to talk shit on absolutely everyone. All right, so <laughs> Mitch, now obviously, all right, so Mitch, now obviously like we hang out pretty regularly, so yeah. I, like I already know, but for these guys that want to know about your life and what it is now, tell me a little update for you, like coming off season four, obviously you won season three Love Island Australia, but now you've gone on for the second time on season four. So tell us like, what it's like going on for the second time of Love Island. Yeah, going on for the second time. Like the first time, you don't know what to expect. Um, you know, you're probably like real nervous. You're on edge. Like you feel like anything yeah. can really happen. We're coming on the second time. Probably just didn't have that, I guess, nerves. Um, I feel like the first time, I got a lot of confidence from, I guess, doing it the first time. So yeah. going this time, I just backed myself. Um, I just, I guess, went for it a little bit. Didn't really give a shit too much about anything where the first time I was, you know, in a way, the complete opposite, you just don't know what's coming, so yeah. and, um, and it makes it a lot easier doing it yeah, at the same time. Definitely makes it a lot easier, for sure, but you were a bomb on the third season, and now you're a bomb on the fourth season, but on the fourth Ultimate season... Ultimate bomb, what can I say? On the fourth <laughs> season, you did walk in halfway, whereas the third season, yeah, you were pretty much like an OG. So. Yeah, I wonder what I'll be for season five, but... Um. <laughs> <laughs> but um. And look, like, let's, not, let's just address the elephant in the room. How, how are you ten times bigger than you were on the fourth season? Yeah, man's season? got jacked this year. Um, had nothing to do all year, wasn't playing footy this year, so just got absolutely... Jack, well, you had perfect teeth this season. You had a better tan. You had better muscles. Yeah, I know, right? And you had better chat. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> but yeah oh, fuck. Oh, who knows? Fuck. What's next, man? You had a glow up, guys. Oh, yeah, I had a glow up this year. I, I mean, might, might get a nose job or something this year. I'll get my abs pinned or bit of Botox. <laughs> <maybe>. <laughs> Who knows what's going to be in store this year. Go to Turkey, eh? So, <laughs> if there's a brand out there who does like Botox and that, hit me up. Really want to glow up again? Um, no, no. Let's get let's get serious here. Oh, no, 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 let's get serious. We all know that you love to stir the pot. You know, you you cheeky guy. You love you love to be energetic, and you know you're always that the life of the party for sure. But I really want to show these guys that side of you that I see. So I really want to ask just a few questions about like the season coming on. Sorry, the season four of Love Island. Yeah. But I won't touch on it for too long, and then we'll go into we'll some on, other yeah. stuff for you. But. I want to know your thoughts, like before you went in the villa, obviously you kept it pretty low key, you didn't tell anyone that you were going in, so like, what was going on through your head, like, we, you know, were you yeah. hoping that you'd find someone similar to like, you know, to what you had on season three, or completely different, or like, yeah, what was going through your head? Yeah, I think like, to be honest, when, when it, when it all sort of came about, it all like happened really quickly, and I think, yeah, I didn't really think too much about it, to be honest, like... You know me, I'm very spontaneous and just like yeah. act before I really think. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. when it came, I was kind of just like, impulsive. yeah, very impulsive, you could say. But yeah, I kind of just like jumped, I guess, jumped at the opportunity, I guess, why not? Yeah. But then, yeah, for me, I thought if something was to happen, um, like why, why not? I was open to it. Um, yeah. Obviously, it didn't work out or anything like that, but... Yeah, I guess I was like open to it if something was really right and felt right and all well, that like, kind of thing. But yeah, for me... Personally, like going in, I was just like, oh, I'm, I'm a confident lad. I'm just going to be myself this time. I feel like I didn't really have like the pressures that you have when you're doing it for the first time or anything yeah. like that. I honestly, yeah. like, if I'm being 100% honest, like in my head, I just didn't really give a fuck, to be honest. Yeah. So I was like, I'm just going to go there yeah. and do whatever the hell I want to do. Well, that's the best thing you can and do. And we'll see what happens. And um, I, feel like, I guess yeah, that's what yeah. I did. I didn't, I didn't really like think too much about, you know, was anything 
you know, going to happen. Like, yeah, obviously, like, you would love to meet the love of your life and things like that. But, but I mean, like, how many times you walk outside and you think, you know, like, yeah. what I'm trying to say is people think that you go on the show and they will crucify you because you're not, you know, in love with this girl. But, like, it's not that easy just to fall in love with a girl. Like, yeah, well, I know, think that's the thing. Just, like, you can't be fake the at the end of the day. So. Exactly. And I'll hold you to that, for sure. Um, yeah, just, I just think, like, going, going on to it, like, personally, my mindset was just like, all right, like, it's a free hit I guess like whatever we'll see what happens and yeah I just just went in and was jumped myself the, the whole end. time just jumped in the jumped deep, in the deep end, end you could so, say and yeah. yeah and it, it was fun so yeah yeah no nice but obviously um well I don't know if these guys know that but I know that Tina was probably your first ever serious relationship so I guess like going into the second season where you're a lot more confident thinking like you were open to getting to know someone again because you have like explored what a relationship could feel like. Or? Yeah, I mean, I was open to it, but I also knew that like I was going in halfway through the show. So it's probably only, you know, two and a half, three yeah. weeks of the show left. So I thought, you know, the best thing that would happen would be to meet someone like, oh, I really like, That's we're getting, we're getting along well and then it would move to the outside. And yeah. obviously the show was pre-recorded this year. It's a lot different. So... Um, yeah, but, yeah, I was more like, yeah. I was going into it, I was like, oh, the best that will kind of happen will be like, all right, we're really getting on and we'll move to the outside yeah. world because like, then they're not going to go in there and just be like, promise yeah. the world and all those kinds of things. Like, yeah. I'm a pretty true person, true to myself and that, so I was kind of just like, well, I, yeah, I was just yeah. realistic about the whole thing. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, like I was, I was going, I suppose, into it open, I would be not going there open, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we all love, like, we all love to, you know, flirt and, you know, run a mark and stuff like that. But, you know, I, I think you do definitely have that serious side of you. So, I mean, it would have been good to see you explore something with somebody on there. But, like, obviously, when an ex comes in the picture, it shapes things up a bit. And I think, like, naturally, yeah, you're going to gravitate towards somebody you have history with, especially in the pressure cooker yeah, like that. Yeah, so, yeah. like, I understand it completely. Yeah. I um, think at the, at the end of the day, like, I just, it comes back, you're just, like, true to yourself and... You know, even when I walked in there, like, I, there was, you know, people that I was like, oh, yeah, like, get to know them or whatnot. But, like, straight away, I probably didn't really feel, like, you know, that huge spark or anything like that. So, yeah. you know, I guess some of it might come back to, like, comfortability, I suppose, that you yeah, can come like, around someone or, yeah, you're familiar and yeah. that. But then, yeah, obviously, obviously, maybe, you know, that, you know, plays a part in as well. But then, yeah, obviously, there's a, there's a history there and um, you are comfortable. But I did try to take... At the end of the day, I didn't try and take all the history out of the equation. I just went with, I guess, my head and who I felt I had the best connection with in there. So, you know, yeah. I guess I was just true to myself the whole time and, and just acted on what I felt was my best connection in the villa. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. All right, so what, then what's your, like, dating life coming out of the show? Obviously, it was pre-recorded, so it's been a few months now. So, mm -hmm. like, are you seeing anybody? Like, are you talking to anybody? <laughs> like... No, uh, to be honest, like, coming off the show... Um, like when we got back to show me and Tim did, we're flying back and forth, Melbourne to Sydney. We did fly a little bit, um, a few times back and forth. And yeah. there was challenges. We weren't allowed to be seen in public to get all those yeah, kinds of yeah, things. Yeah. There was like challenges around that, but yeah, that continued for, for a little bit after show. I'm not sure the exact time, maybe like six weeks or something like that. We we're doing that for, and then, yeah, kind of just, I guess made the call, but yeah, since then I've just, yeah, I've been focusing on myself and, I'm um, just enjoying being, I guess, back in normal life, not holding a secret, I guess, just like back yeah. to normal things. Because even when I was going into the show, you know, I didn't yeah. really, once I knew I was going on, you know, I started training a bit harder and, you know, not going yeah. out on the weekends and looking after myself and all those kinds of things. So it's nice just to come back and, yeah. um, you know, book a, I'll go, go to Bali in a couple of days, just things yeah. like that. So yeah. like just do normal things again and not, you know, have to be like, oh, you know, I'm watching what I eat, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so just enjoying that, focusing myself and, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. So just enjoying the like, downtime, really, because obviously, like, you were in serious prep before going on. Like, you know, you look, you were in great nick on the show. You're in great nick now. So, like, <laughs> coming off the show, like, you got to have that sort of downtime and, you know, relaxation, like holidays, eating what you like, going out drinking, you yeah. know, socialising and just doing normal things. So, Mark, for people that don't know Mitch or know Mitch from the show, Mitch, what, you, so you've been brought up in Tasmania. Mm. You've moved over to Melbourne. You played AFL, which is professional football. Yeah. And then... And then you went on Great reality on TV. Yeah. So, like, when you were playing footy and stuff, did you ever picture that you were ever going to go on, like, reality TV? Nah, like, I never really thought I was always a like, footy whatever. Yeah. Like, it's, a different, it's a different culture, isn't it? Oh, like, it's so different. Like, like, yeah, it's so different. Yeah. But, yeah, I guess, yeah, growing up, when it was, like, 
school days when they're like, oh, what do you want to be when you're older? Guess I'd come to school in my swim shorts with a rope around my neck, the microphone. That was what I wanted to be when I was old. Nah. I was always footy. And then, um, yeah, I was, and then everyone always like said to me, like, it was like Big Brother and stuff back in the day, like, you'd be great on Big yeah, Brother, back, like, back then, whatever. Because like, I was like a big, like yeah. I was always like just myself and my neighbor. I'd be like, oh, you'd be great, like, doing something like that. You'd be funny, like, you take the piss, don't take anything yeah. serious. Like, you'd be great at that. And then it was just like, whatever. And then I did have people, yeah, I guess, say that to me. So maybe they knew, maybe in hindsight, they knew maybe what was Maybe manifested it. Yeah, maybe they manifested yeah. it. Who knows? But yeah, it was always footy. And then, yeah, got the opportunity to do season three, did that. And then season four came along. And the rest yeah, is history. Yeah, rest is nice. history. So I guess season five is next year. So to show you what we're back. No. <laughs> you wouldn't do a third season, would you? No, I think I think Australia is probably sick of me right now on my <laughs> mind, but <laughs> yeah, who knows? <laughs> yeah, it's good. And I think like to like throw yourself in a deep end like twice in a row in the span of like just over twelve months. It's, it's crazy. crazy. It's yeah. crazy because a lot of people a lot of people like to you know nitpick and say this and say that, but like how many of you guys can walk in? Um, to Love Island twice and the second time you're in there with your ex-girlfriend that you met it's a lot on, the, on the first yeah, season. Like, it's a lot. It's, it's, I don't think of it like that. That's the funny thing. It's like, yeah. I don't even think, then when you sit back and look at it, you're just like, what the hell? No, but I give, I give but, props to you for sure because, you know, like nobody, we, you know, we're not scripted on what to say or what to do. Everything in there is spontaneous. Everything there is our own mind and yeah. our own words, you know. Nobody gets a bad edit. Nobody, you know, it's all... It's all us. You all did it, yeah. Whatever you say, whatever comes out of your mouth, you said it, they yeah, have to yeah. they've put on TV. So I'll give you props for that because, you know, like, I wouldn't know what I'd do if I ever had to have that. Ugh. If I ever got put in that situation, um, yeah, don't get any ideas. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited for you. Obviously, uh, we met on season three, and season three, I feel like. Um, First meeting, you definitely opened, like we all did. We went in there, we were open-minded and we all opened ourselves up emotionally. You definitely opened yourself up emotionally. But I think going in for the second time, you definitely, um, you show you showed another side of you, which I see a lot of the time, that energetic, like fun, outgoing, like charismatic dude yeah. uh, with a lot of banter and a lot of chat. And you know, you love to be cheeky, which I think is like, to describe this in one trouble. word would be, would be cheeky, but in a good way, you know. So I feel like, um, yeah, like, how, like, is that something that you feel like you need to show more of? Like, yeah, I think like for me, it's season three was probably like a lot more. Obviously, it had its ups and downs, had a lot of challenges and whatnot, and yeah, it was probably more more so. Where I think probably this season that you got to see my personality a bit more. Yeah, you probably got to see that you know bloke who just takes piss a lot more and all that kind of thing, which is like not what so I'm serious. Like. Yeah, like, not so yeah. serious. Yeah. Um, which is what I'm like. So I guess for me, that's something that I want to show everyone is like that side of me. Um, cause some, it is hard that people forget that on those shows, it is, you know, a 45 minute episode for two days, potentially mm. one to two days for 15, 16 people at mm. a time. So mm. you actually see a lot that's of people's much. personalities. So, um, yeah, for me, like at the end of the day, I'm just a big idiot. And I guess <laughs> people probably saw that more this season and yeah. saw that side of me. It's something I do want to, I guess, show people cause that. Yeah. is me really yeah. like that's I don't take anything serious at all you know that and yeah. um yeah they were two completely different journeys I think season three at the start I think both times at the start of like run them up for a few days and then kind of like settle yeah. down a bit um so. I th I mean, yeah I, like watching a few episodes of you I feel like it was definitely I mean I'm oh, I could be biased here but I definitely feel like it was a bit of a mid show a lot of the time <laughs> like you definitely had that charismatic energy that I, I like, I feel like most people want to see on TV. It was good. It was entertaining. Yeah. Um, Callum was also as as very funny. Callum was also very funny. Obviously, <laughs> Al was very funny too. This, I think you three were um, very similar and brought a lot to the table. But I feel like you know, like if you would ever do a show again, what show would you want to do? Like, would it be another dating show, or would you want Maybe. to do something else where you could, you know, just just be yourself and not think about getting with someone? I think, like, to be honest. I feel like I'm in a position now, I'm in a good position now where, you know, I wouldn't be saying yes to every opportunity yeah. that came my way in terms of a career and moving forward and stuff that I am a bit of a yes man and, and want to do as much as I can, but I think I'm in a, in a good position now. So if, you know, I was to do something further, I guess with TV or stay on TV, it would have to be something that aligned with me. I'd love yeah. to, I guess I'd love to just do something that shows my personality, to be fair. Anything yeah. that shows more of you is, 
I think would be a positive and um, you know I don't know what that is I'm I guess open to anything um, but yeah we'll, we'll just see what happens there um, I think like yeah I don't know I think I just think like I, I, obviously it's, I got to show my personality a bit more this time and you know if I was to do something again hopefully I'll get the chance to show more of myself more of my personality yeah. so yeah I think it's good like watching it I definitely saw more more Mitch in there like yeah, the other yeah, side I I was, I, yeah. you can see both sides and serious you know loving sort of caring sort of guy and then you can see like the funny cheeky sort of side as well yeah, which so I feel like we, gets we all have you know different sides <laughs> of us you know I'm not always serious talking about my feelings either like I do yeah, have a fun yeah. side but he's definitely a lot more cheeky and energetic for sure yeah, yeah. so you've you've gone on Love Island you've gone on Love Island twice now and what it's been over the span of just over 12 months yeah, so pretty if we could fast forward another 12 months from now, where, where do you see yourself in terms of like career, relationships, um, just personal life in general, like outside of the show, like where do you want to go now? Yeah, that's a, I think that's a tough question. Um, fuck, I don't, I don't even know, to be fair, what direction I'm going to take at the moment. I feel like I'm in a good position and there's opportunities there and whatnot, so I'm a little bit, you know, up in the air, but for me, I think the most important thing for me is like just showing my personality more, showing who I am, and then I think you know, what, what road that leads me down, will it'll kind of just happen. Yeah. Um, and I think I'll kind of work out my niche and where, where I need to go and all those sort of things. So I guess, yeah, for me, I just want to continue to show my personality, whether or not that is, you know, down more TV or that's, you know, down more the fitness avenue or that's down, you know, it could be anything. Like, who knows, presenting. Mitch has, got, Mitch has got a massive personality, guys. Who so knows? everybody watching this video, go in the comments, blow it up. Tell well, him to make know. more what YouTube you, videos. What do you want? YouTube. Tell Aaron's, him, Aaron's tell always him, on to me. Aaron's tell like, him to just YouTube, get on there YouTube. and do it. Aaron's like, get on there, make up. YouTube. So I want to know, like, get in the comments, message me on Insta, whatever. Slide in the DMs if you're hot. But, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I want to know, like, what do, I guess, what do you guys want to see? But yeah, for me, I think like... I'm always, yeah, I'm always on your back about it. Um, I think it would just be, I think it's like, honestly, the more I just show my personality, I'll kind of just yeah. work out my niche. You and, pick up the pieces along the way, but it's, yeah. it's pretty, I'd say it's pretty hard to say, like, you've just come off the show, like, yeah. you know, there's a lot going on right now, so I completely yeah. understand it, but um, I think we've pretty much touched on everything right now, the burning questions, um, so we'll kind of wrap it up for you, um, but yeah, if I could just say one thing, I'm, ac I'm actually proud of how you acted on the show, I think it was, <laughs> I think it was great, mate, honestly, gone the second time. And to obviously like have all the crap that came off after season three and you know the bumps in the road and stuff like that. To go on the fourth season um, and to be your complete self and then you know even have the guts to revisit with Tina. I think it takes a lot of balls and you know nobody could sit there and just say like oh yeah I, I, you know, I've been in that situation. It's, it's hectic so good on you for that. Oh, okay. like stuck your neck if, out. if you don't go back to your, you got to at least go back to your ex once in your life. I've got my next yeah. time. I've got to, you've got to do something crazy once, don't you? Yeah, it's your first ex. Yeah, I know. You've got to go back to your ex at least once in your life. Like, no, so good on you for that. That's off the bucket list. Yeah, yeah good, on, good on you for that. And, um, what, it's to 20, 29th right now? It's 28th. 29th, yeah. It's so the 28th or something. So it's pretty 29th, much the end of the yeah. year now. So we're closing off with a bang. Yeah. Um, and we're coming into New Year 2023, which will be a big year for everyone. Like, you know, yeah, exciting show times. a lot more traveling, a lot more big things, things to add coming. to the list. Yeah, big, big, things, thing, big things coming. So it'll be good. It's going to be interesting. You're off to Bali, what, tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'm off yeah. to Bali first thing in the morning. Yeah. Bit of lad's trip, probably going to lose my head, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, tell him to vlog it. Tell Mitch to vlog this trip to Bali. <laughs> he wants me to vlog it, but I'm not, might have to like, vlog it on a subscription site. It's like R18 Plus. I probably will lose my head, but. <laughs> oh, um, shit. Yeah, no, I'll be, it's a lad's trip to Bali. Probably just, um, yeah, a few retreats, find myself, juices. Be working, working out all that kind of thing, I reckon. So. Yeah, you'd be working out, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it'd be a pretty quiet trip. <laughs> you keep thought. that rig up, mate, but yeah. be a pretty quiet trip over New Year's, I would have thought. But so. to be honest, I would love to, next time we do a video like this, I'd love to sit down and really dive into like nutrition and um, what you do for training and stuff like that. Because yeah. obviously, like with a physique like that, mate, you didn't just go to the gym and stroll in every now and then, and, you know, so. See the shit or what? Be on his back, guys. Go <laughs> in the comments and tell him he needs to make more videos. But until then, we've pretty much touched on everything. So, yeah. We've done it. First video. First, first video YouTube. YouTube out of the way. Bit of, a, bit of a different one. Bit just more casual. Bit of an update. Um, yeah. See where your head's at. See where your head's at, I suppose. Yeah. But He's got a secret missus in the closet. Thanks for listening. Right? <laughs> <laughs> secret five girlfriends in the closet. Well, but yeah. thanks for listening, guys. What do they say on YouTube? Hit the like, smash the subscribe. <laughs>
comment on it. Alright, maybe we should do some more challenges in 2023. Because in 2022 and my YouTube, we did a few challenges. They were fun. We did, so maybe yeah, we should we do some of those. Like that, yeah. we'll spice it up a bit. But, but it's the end of the year, so happy new year. Happy new year. Merry I've Christmas. had a great Christmas. Thanks for listening. All we'll see you on the next one. See you later.